Hello and welcome back to Statistics Series of Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek. In my previous video, I have explained how to calculate mean, median, mode, range, variance and standard deviation using Excel manually. Today, I will demonstrate with example how you can easily perform all these analyses and lot others to get useful inferences using AI tool without any prior knowledge of programming language. Not only this, I will also show you how you can use AI to generate plots and graphs that can be published. So this video is going to be really very useful for your statistical analysis and help you save a lot of your time. So let's begin. Suppose this is the data file that needs to be analyzed. The file contains yield data of 15 individuals, each of two tomato varieties, namely cherry and roma. The AI tool that we are going to use for a statistical analysis is Julius AI. Just log into your account and upload your data file that needs to be analyzed. Just remember that the columns and rows are properly labeled so that AI can understand the instruction you provide later on. Once the file is uploaded, you can write the instruction about what kind of analysis you want the AI tool to perform. Now that we have successfully uploaded our data, in simple language we explain to the tool what the data is about and what analysis we want the tool to perform. For example, here we ask it to calculate mean, median, mode, range, variance and standard deviation. We have mentioned all the analysis that we need the tool to perform in a single go. When we hit enter, it will start running its code for which it uses Python language. But we do not need to worry about this part. Upon completion, we will get the summarized results about the statistical analysis we have asked for. You can see it has calculated mean, median, mode, range, variance and standard deviation for both the varieties. It will also generate the key insights about the yield of both the varieties based on the statistical analysis. The analysis suggests that Roma variety has higher average yield than cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes show higher variation in the yield compared to Roma based on range and standard deviation. Analysis also show that the data is slightly positively skewed. You can also copy these results to Word and other such document and save it. So this is how we get the summarized result. But sometimes we need to see how these measures are calculated. So we need to ask the tool to provide detailed calculation. Julius will run its script again to generate the detailed calculation of all these analysis. You can see here, it has generated the detailed step-by-step -step calculation for all the analysis we have asked it to perform. This way, you can also verify the formula used for calculating mean, median, mode, range, variance and standard deviation. Coming on to generating plots and graphs using Julius. Here I have asked it to generate a scatter plot. So here is the scatter plot of yield versus tomato variety highlighting its mean value. As you scroll down, it will provide the explanation for the plot, how the data is distributed, what are the yields of individual varieties, yield range, etc. The variability of the yield, they are spread. You will also find the summary of stats like mean, standard deviation and others. At the bottom, you will also find the key insights derived from the analysis. And similarly, you can generate density plot that shows variability and spread with respect to the central values. On the panel to the left, you can explore n number of statistical analysis that can be performed. You can process the data, for example, filter or split the spreadsheet or combine them. You can explore different ways of data visualization like pie chart, line graph, histograms, scatter plot, different type of bar plots, and other statistical analysis. If you find the tool useful, you can purchase a plan for a month to test its various features. You can opt for an annual plan for higher discounts. Also, you can use my link given in the description along with the discount code Abhishek to get additional 10% discounts. So if you find this video useful, do share it with others. Check out my other useful videos on research and publishing, AI tools and lot more. Subscribe to stay connected for more such interesting stuffs.